What's going on? It's your boy Martin. I am here to talk to you about hemorrhoids and specifically what causes hemorrhoids. There are two different types of hemorrhoids. As you can see on this diagram here, there is internal hemorrhoids, which are on the inside of the anal canal above the dentate line. So that's an internal hemorrhoid. It's on the inside, on the inside wall of your anal canal above the anus. And then you have the external hemorrhoid, which is below the dentate line outside of the anus. So external hemorrhoid, internal hemorrhoid. Now what causes these awful things? If you've had either of them, you know they're awful. Let's jump right in. If we can understand what's causing them, maybe we can understand how to prevent them in the future. So let's go ahead and do that. Big, big, big cause of hemorrhoids is this guy being constipated right here. Constipation. Constipation causes hemorrhoids. Why? When you're constipated, you sit on the toilet for a long period of time. Now what happens when you're sitting on the toilet for a long period of time? You get a lot of pressure building up in these anal veins here. And when you have pressure building up in the anal veins, they can break, they can get damaged, they can get inflamed, and that can cause hemorrhoids. Also, when you're constipated, you're trying to get your bowel movement out. So what do you do? You squeeze, you squeeze really hard. So when you squeeze hard, you're squeezing all this blood and putting all this pressure on the veins here. So not only is sitting for a long period of time causing the blood to pool and the pressure to increase, but then you're squeezing and straining really hard and that's causing the pressure to increase even more. So it's a double whammy. So you don't wanna do that. You want to avoid constipation that will help you not have hemorrhoids anymore. It will help prevent your hemorrhoids. I am here to help you. Constipation is a big thing. Let's look at what causes constipation. Dehydration. If you are not drinking enough water, you are likely dehydrated. If you're dehydrated, you are going to be constipated. So if you're you know, signs of mild to moderate dehydration include thirst, dry mouth, fatigue, headache, if you're constantly thirsty or you feel like you have a dry mouth a lot or you're fatigued or you have a headache, drink more water. That will help you with your dehydration. It'll help you stay hydrated and not be constipated. And if you're not constipated, you are not going to have hemorrhoids or your chances of having hemorrhoids are much, much lower. Signs of severe dehydration. Look, if you're even here, you got to be drinking water. Okay, so let's move on. Eating Crappy processed foods. Yes, everyone's telling us this all the time. I know I struggle with it too. I love pizza. But if you're eating these processed bad diet foods, you are going to have a much higher chance of having irregular bowel movements and being constipated. So, you know, do your best to eat healthy. Do your best to eat your fruits and your veggies. You know, drink your five, six, seven glasses, full glasses of water a day. One of the changes I made is every morning when I wake up, I have at least one, maybe even two full glasses of water. But I always have at least one full glass of water. And I'm, knock on wood, have been regular and haven't had any problems since I've been doing that. But also eating fruits and veggies will help you stay regular. Medications. Medications can cause people to be chronically constipated. Um, if you are, If you feel like you're Constipation is caused from your medicine or maybe uh, a cause of, uh, caused by your medicine. Talk to your doctor. See if there's a different medication you can take. See if you know, there are any options you can use to not be constipated due to your medication. Do everything you can and that will help you with your hemorrhoids. Pregnancy is another common cause of hemorrhoids. Just like we discussed with the sitting on the toilet and having all that pressure build up on the anal veins, well look, now you're carrying a wonderful child, but it's putting pressure and stress on your veins. You have all this extra weight and, you know, especially when you're sitting on the toilet or you're just adding more stress and pressure to those veins, which will cause hemorrhoids. So if you're pregnant and you have hemorrhoids, you're going to want to use hemorrhoid wipes, Hemorrhoid creams, you're going to, you know, try and be as regular as possible. All those things are going to help you not have hemorrhoids and help prevent the hemorrhoids from getting worse. Okay. Here's, this is supposed to be a diagram of someone with diarrhea. 
I was going to get a photo of diarrhea, but I figured you wouldn't appreciate it too much. You know, on the flip side of constipation is diarrhea, and diarrhea can also cause hemorrhoids. If you have diarrhea, you're running to the toilet frequently, you have to go a lot, and you're wiping a lot. Oftentimes, excess wiping can cause hemorrhoids, it causes irritation down there, it's not good. If you have diarrhea, you are definitely going to want to use a hemorrhoid wipe, and, you know, oftentimes it's just because you're sick, you know, you got the flu or something, use those hemorrhoid wipes. Uh, make sure that you're not putting extra strain and wear and tear on your anus by using regular toilet paper. That is definitely not good. Um, if you chronically have diarrhea, go see a doctor. Figure out what's going on, okay? Genetics. Genetics are a common cause of hemorrhoids as well. If, it's, if someone in your family has hemorrhoids, you have a higher likelihood of having hemorrhoids, okay? So... Um, I know hemorrhoids is prevalent in my family, unfortunately, um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So this is a great product for hemorrhoids. It's called Hemorrhoid Plus. You can actually find it on Amazon. Uh, this is a hemorrhoid supplement, something I would definitely recommend adding to a hemorrhoid wipe and a hemorrhoid cream. It's an awesome product, can definitely help you out, you know, if you're, Hemorrhoids are caused by constipation. You know, do everything you can. Drink your water. You know, you know, get yourself regular so that you're not sitting on the toilet for a long period of time. Do what you got to do to get rid of those hemorrhoids. I know how bad they are. I've been there. I'm with you. So if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to let me know. You can comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Like, share, do all those good things. If you have any questions, once again, I'm here.